Hello, my name is Jean-Pierre. I'm a part of a French uh, company named Cloudworks, which is interested in innovative cloud solutions. One of our focus is on Hadoop and on how can we make it ready for cloud era. Today's presentation is on these challenging topics. And the three main issues that we came across when we reached out on the subjects. The first one, does it make sense to run Hadoop on, the, on top of virtualized infrastructure, knowing that it's designed for dedicated hardware? And the second one is, can we fit Hadoop into the cloud model? Can we make it available for self-service rapid provisioning and um, elasticity. And if it can fit in, uh, into the model, can we optimize the, this usage? And we have time, I show you that how easy we can navigate to the data. Well, for the first question that, that came out when we researched on Hadoop is whether it's not to make sense to run Hadoop on top of virtual, virtualized infrastructure. To answer this question, we need to, uh, to, uh, to look at three key performance indicators. The first one is storage IO. The second one is CPU usage. And the third one is a CPU waiting for IO. Those three indicators are very important for us because we, we can identify where the bottlenecks occurs. As you can uh, see in, the, in this graph, the virtual performance is close to the physical performance if we choose the appropriate solution. The data displayed here are from two platforms. The first platform is the physical, uh, physical one, which consists of a, gig, a 40 gigabit network, three net nodes, with internal storage in the red one mode, and uh, two, two Intel Xeon, and 128 gigabit of RAM. On top of that, we, uh, we have deployed Intel distribution on top of CentOS 6.4. The second platform is a virtual one, similar to the physical one, which we add a storage based on Ceph. The self storage provides a two tier of storage, SATA and SSD. Each server hosts one VM, and its capacity is similar to the, uh, to the physical machine. Well, for the first question, does it make sense to run Hadoop on, on virtualized infrastructure? Our answer is yes. Because the performance is, is close to the physical, uh, physical uh, infrastructure. Our next step now is, is to fit Hadoop on cloud model. For these issues, we need to, uh, to look at three more points. The first one is to enable self-services, rapid provisioning, and elasticity. I will launch a demo that, that makes Cloudified Hadoop and launch within two minutes. So I'll, I'll go to the demo. And we are, will I, I'll, will I spend later on what I've done. So for the time being, I launch a cluster. Let's say name it CloudWatch. And see how many, how time can he make it. So. To achieve this performance, we, have, uh, we use three, two functions. The first function manage virtual layers. 
and the second function, manage Hadoop cluster. For the first function, we use Havana and self storage. Havana is deployed on three nodes and on typical manner. The controller nodes provide image services and volume services on top of self block storage. The network layers is provided by OpenVSwitch version 2.0 and NetFilter in kernel 3.10. For the, uh, for the Nova compute, we will use uh, QVM system in version 1.6. For the second function that manage the Hadoop cluster, we rely on the development of Mirantis guys named Savannah, OpenStack Savannah. For this demo, I, I didn't go to all the detail about the function of Savannah. The Mirantis guy will, uh, will present it in deep detail in their presentation. Well, next, we will see that how many times the, the, the cluster will be launched. So, the logical architecture provided here is, uh, is Hadoop on Havana on Savannah. The Savannah uh, API is provided by a VM on the cluster. And now you can see that the cluster is launched within two minutes of time. Challenge relieved. So now that Hadoop is cloudified, we can move on to the last question. The last question is how can we optimize the usage of Hadoop cluster? Well, for this one, the multi tenancy and the warlord distribution service test management is essential to run a successful Hadoop shared cluster. As I, will have, as, as I will be short of time, I will go through the, the multi-tenancy feature and especially the uh, resource scheduling. The implementation of resource scheduling is quite simple. We will use capacity scheduler, which provides minimum guaranteed and the best capacity. So let's move to the demo. The demo is, is straightforward. We, use, we have set two queues in the Hadoop cluster. The first one has a capacity of 25% of the cluster capacity and 75% of burst when they are free uh, resource. The second queue has 50% of capacity and 100% of uh, burst capacity. So let's monitor the behavior of the cluster by launching two jobs. There is the, the, the monitor system. And now we launch the first jobs. It's make time because the, the Java context launch. As the, as the cluster is free, the first customer will uh, will take 70% of burst capacity. The, the cluster has four slot maps, so 75% uh, of uh, four is three. Now let's launch uh, second jobs with a second customer. Well, as you can see, when the, cluster, when, when the second customer needs a resource, the cluster rebalance all the resources according to the quota um, in each queue. The 
all the actions are done to power user or experiment user. Our ob objective is to provide uh, a solution that can be used by any user. So to enable um, this kind of feature, we will make an example for, uh, from uh, CloudWatch data and how to integrate the other solution to visualize and explore the data. The tool used here is from Pentao. Pentao provides three features. The first feature is the visual map reduce, which develops map reduce with a graphical interface user. This screenshot is the virtual, sorry, a graphical user interface. An analytic platform which collects and analyzes data, and a ad hoc visualization. Which, which provide the user the ability to create his own solution. So we have a demo on the ad hoc visualization. On this graph, we can see that the dashboard has three parts. The three parts are all item clickable. So we can, we can go through the one, for example. And in this view, we can go in deep detail of which, which data. And we can have analyze friendly by dropping analysis acts into the menu. And in near real time, the solution make requests into Hadoop system. So it makes time because the, the, the cluster is on, the, on Paris, in Paris. So you can see that the refresh is, is near real time, and you can set up any axis you, can, uh, you, you choose. So let's summarize what we, what we have done. The three main points that we go to was the first one, Hadoop makes sense to run into virtual infrastructure because the performance is near the physical performance. Hadoop does fit into the, uh, the cloud model because we can make it available for self-service, rapid provisioning, and elasticity. And the third point is we can maximize the use of Hadoop cluster by use the, the, the multi-tenancy point. So we have reached the end of the presentation. You can reach me at jeanpierre.com Jean at cloudwatt.com. So, th so thank you very much.